Hi everyone and welcome to our special Christmas assembly. As you can see we are in St Andrews in Congresbury, right in front of our very small Christmas tree, which goes almost up to the roof but not quite. So, and as we're starting to get ready for Christmas, we're going to start today with a prayer. So we're going to light our candle. By lighting the candle, this helps us to remember that we are in worship and that we are here to praise God. So let's start with a prayer. Dear God, help us to remember why we are here and that we are here to praise you. And while we're thinking of the Christmas story and all the excitement, help us to remember the real reason why we celebrate Christmas. Amen. Move everybody around a moment. There we go. So, uh, welcome to St Andrews and to this nativity scene, which has been here many years now. And uh, many of the children have come up here over the Christmas period and seen this uh, picture of what the original Christmas was about. And they love it very much. And earlier in lockdown, Sadly, we had a break-in and some of the characters were taken, which was very sad. It made us very sad. It made other people in the community very sad. And I went, I went on Radio Bristol with some other people and we asked whether anybody had found a new garden gnome, because these are quite big, but nobody phoned us up. And then a lady got in touch with us and she said, I'm actually something called a restorer. Some of you may have seen the repair shop on the television at the moment. And this is what she does as her hobby, her pastime. And she very kindly agreed to try and reproduce some of the characters that were stolen. And she's done an amazing job. She worked many hours and late into the night on many occasions trying to reproduce things from pictures and from the other characters that we had. And I hope you can see that she's done an incredible job to make this very, very beautiful. And then she came into church on Monday and gave us it back. And she said, I'd like to give this to you as a gift. And she wouldn't take any payment or anything like that for it. What a lovely, kind thing for somebody to do. It certainly made me and many others here in the church really very well, grateful for everything that she's done, but more than grateful. We felt, we use a word in church called blessed. We felt very blessed that people, had, somebody had been so kind to us. And indeed it helped us to think about being kind to others. Well, this goes to the very heart of the Christmas story because we all pretty much know the story that baby Jesus came into the world. But I wonder whether you've ever thought that Mary and Joseph and the shepherds and the kings and even the animals, they all, worked really hard as part of this story. Mary and Joseph walked many miles from Nazareth for about, about three or four days. The shepherds were out in the fields working very hard looking after their sheep. And then something amazing happened. And then of course you've got the kings who took this incredible journey for probably something like a thousand miles on a camel. I've only ever ridden a camel for a couple of hundred yards and that was painful enough. So they, they certainly went through a lot of the hard work to make sure that they got to the story. All these things came together. And this reminds us that in the Christmas story, it's not just about what God did, it's also about what human beings did. And the whole of creation coming together in worship and thanksgiving, working hard to enable something new to happen, which of course we know is the birth of the baby Jesus. And that baby Jesus is here in the manger. Kaz is going to show you what he looks like. One of the things I love about the way the Jesus character is always shown in these crib scenes is that he's shown with his hands open wide, welcoming anyone and everyone who will pause here and stop here and welcome him into their lives. Always a very powerful image. One of the things I often do at Christmas after all the services are done and 
there's a stillness in the air at about one o'clock in the morning after the last of the midnight mass community go home. I sit here in church with anyone who would like to for about 10 minutes, quarter of an hour and just ponder this amazing and most wonderful of nights and most amazing of events. And it really makes me happy inside because I know something wonderful and beautiful is happening. Not just 2000 years ago, but just like this lady now, what she did was an act of kindness, an act of love, which carried on that blessing which Jesus came to bring into the world. So this story of working together with God in things to make a new world, this is going to be really important to us as we think about what life's going to be like when this pandemic is over. Do we want to go back simply to the world that it used to be, how things used to be? You'll hear a lot of people talk about that. But actually, I would like to encourage us to think about having a dream. A dream where people are even more kind to one another, where people are even kinder to the planet and care about the planet even more. Where people look out for one another and discover that to be welcoming of somebody actually is to welcome God into their hearts. This can be a new world that we can create together. And it's worth remembering that this story then isn't just for 2,000 years ago. It's actually a story that's going on today in every act of kindness, in every act of compassion, in every act of love. So I hope you have a really great Christmas. It's been a very tough year for so many people, both for younger people, but also for older people too. I would imagine many of your teachers are very tired and they've worked incredibly hard and we thank them for it because they, theirs is a vocation and a kindness every day to every child. So I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas as we remember the nativity story and we share together. Kaz is just going to close with a little prayer for us. Kaz. So, let us pray. Dear God, during this time, let us remember the kindness of the innkeeper, the peace of the shepherds, the joy of the kings, the love of Mary and Joseph, and the hope of the baby who came into this world to give us hope. And during this Christmas time, help us just to spend time to pause and think about the real meaning of Christmas. Amen. Amen. So we hope you have a really great Christmas. Um, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, may something of the joy of Christmas be yours. And if you're able to join us over the Christmas online for any of the services, particularly the Chris Dingle service, you'd be very welcome. Thank you to everyone who's helped to distribute all the packs and to make all the packs. Thank you to Kaz and the team here. Thank you to all the teachers in your schools. Have a great rest of the time while you're at school and have a wonderful Christmas. God bless everyone. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Have a good one.